In this video, I'm gonna talk about palpation of the lumbar spine and pelvis, what you should be looking at, what you should be feeling, and why. For lumbar spine palpation, the first thing that we can look at is a symphysis pubis. We'd use the hypothemic eminence of the hand and palpate downwards towards the symphysis pubis. And the reason we do this is to uh, allow the patient to know what we're doing and make sure they're not uncomfortable with this palpation because it's obviously in an area you have to be quite careful with, with, with women and men. Then you can bring your thumbs onto the, the symphysis pubis once you reach that point with your hypothenin eminence, and then it's a lot less scary for the patients. For the ASIS, you would come out onto the hooks of the ASIS. So from the iliac crest, if you palpate down and forwards, it's the front uh, bony prominence that you can feel. And there's a little hook that you can feel. This is the anterior superior iliac spine. And between these areas in the inguinal region, you can check for hernias and lymph nodes being swollen. Then you can palpate the iliac crests uh, for apophysitis and hip pointers and just for general pain through the uh, crests of the ilium. In a prone position, what we can do is come from the iliac crest and if we come across to the spine from this level, we will be at L4, L5 uh, spinous process of the vertebra. We can then go down to L5, S1 by moving down one level and we can feel for step deformities in this area which would indicate a spondylolisthesis. We can also palpate upwards from the spinous processes from L5 to L1. If we come two to three centimeters laterally, we can find the facet joints and the muscles overlying these, and we can move downwards from L1 down to L5 facets. Then we can move on to the sacrum and go on to the sacral hiatus where the sacrum drops off. And we can look at the PSIS, which is the dimples of the back uh, when you're in standing, and this is level with S2. You can then feel for the greater trochanter, which is on the uh, lateral aspect of the hip. It's the most bony prominence on that lateral aspect of the, the femur uh, and the hip. And between the PSIS and the greater trochanter is the glutes. And the sciatic nerve can be found between the ischial tuberosity and the greater trochanter. So ischial tuberosity can be found in the gluteal fold. And if you come across to the greater trochanter, you can then go in between those points. And this is where your sciatic nerve can be found. If you're a physio or therapist looking to get better, then press the subscribe button, click the bell icon, and that way you'll see all the, our current videos that are coming out, and they're all designed around helping you to get better. If you enjoyed this video, then click this one here, because you are gonna love it.